Uh, good morning, Andrew Randa here again. Um, I haven't really done this in, in about a week or so. Work has been stressful. Um, so today I'm just going to talk about uh, the list that was released by Daniel Amokachi for the uh, Nigeria, South Africa and Nigeria versus Uganda game. Actually, we were supposed to take on uh, Bolivia, but they withdrew due to political and security reasons, like they said. Um, the NFF were, were really proactive. They were able to get Uganda probably inside at the 6 or 48 hours. And so Nigeria will play Uganda on the 25th. And that will be a Wednesday at the, at the magnificent nest of champions, the Aqua Ibom Stadium in Uyo. Then they'll fly to South Africa to play the Bafana Bafana on the 29th. Uh, so the two windows are actually taken by Nigeria. And kudos to the NFL for that. Um, so basically, the list was okay, personally. Um, I just thought there was, there was a lot of... Was just, I, had a, I had a mixed feeling when the list came out because um, Austin Ejide was dropped. Then I saw Chide Eberi Eze, the, 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 the Gabros goalkeeper, and I just felt Amokachi was actually trying something. But a colleague told me that Amokachi was uh, at Inneri to watch uh, Gabros' last uh, Blue Premier League game. So probably he saw what he liked and he invited the young guy um, to camp. So maybe when we get to Uyo and see them train, we'll be able to make up our minds. I've not seen him play before. And so I can't really say much about it. And again, um, there's a recall for John Ogu. Um, Sonia Luko is back. Uh, Hope Bachman is back. There's Leon Balogun too. Uh, he's in the squad. Then there's a first call up for Moses Simon, one of the most exciting uh, talent in Nigeria um, right now. Then there's also Akim Latif, who is a right back with Alisson in uh, the Norwegian League. Uh, so I think what, what Amokachi is trying to do is to sort out the problematic left uh, right back uh, area of, of our team. It's it's been uh, so, so, sort of topsy turvy um, since Chidi Odia left. Mohamed Yusuf has been tried there. Efe Ambrose has played there lately. He's tried anyway, but he's not your quintessential fullback. Then of course there was Solomon Kwambi who has also tried his luck there uh, without much success anyway. So um, the big the big uh, omission in the squad is Emmanuel Aminike. He's not really had a, a good season at Fenerbahce, so he's been dropped. Uh, and Moses Simon and a couple of other guys like Odioni Gallo um, ripping the championship up with goals is back in the squad then Antonio Uja of FC Cologne in the Bundesliga is back in the squad so um, it's a mix of old and new and I think that Amokachi really wants to do something I, personally if you ask me I think he's good for the job you know you don't really have to agree but I think he's been with the team long enough to be able to know what direction the team should take so I think the list to me probably is it's okay it's just friendly so let's see what happens um, a couple of these players will get their chance. Let's see what they can do. Um, yes, again, I must talk about the Flying Eagles. They're in the final of the Africa Youth Championship. And they're going to play Senegal on Sunday at the Stade of Senegal in Dakar. There. Um, they haven't really played well their last two matches, but they've been able to get things out of it. So I think it shows some mental strength and character too. Um, they, they, they're just able to find their way through games. And it shows that they've really been together, they really understand each other. So kudos to them. Um, Nigerians love free-flowing football. Unfortunately, we've not been able to get it. Uh, the last group game uh, they played. Um, and uh, yeah, the last group game they played against the Ivory Coast, which was 2-2, and the 2-0 victory over Ghana in the semi-final. So they'll play Senegal. Senegal were able to beat um, Mali, two goals to one. Crazy match, if I may tell you that. Um, so the final is set on Sunday. Um, Nigeria versus Senegal for, for the trophy and Ghana will take on Mali in the third place match. Again, fantastic matches up this weekend. So stay tuned. Um, I'm going to blog about the matches that will take place this weekend. So I wouldn't take much of your time here. You can go to nigerfooty.blogspot.com. Um, a small preview of this weekend's matches. Uh, the weekend of um, 21st to 22nd. Uh, all the games. Canopillas are away in the continent to uh, Maghreb Teton in Morocco. And they couldn't play because of the incident, so Cal shifted it by a week. Now they're going to play uh, on Saturday by 7 p.m. Nigerian time. So let's hope um, this is a beautiful football weekend for you all. I can't wait for all the hostilities to begin. Uh, I wish the Super, um, sorry, I wish the Flying Eagles uh, uh, success in the game against Senegal. And I'm Abihito Uyo on Monday, so hopefully I should be able to get some tidbits from there. My name is Andrew Randall, like I said. My little blog for today or the weekend. 
blogspot, nigerfuji.blogspot.com. Keep reading, keep visiting, and let me know what you think. You know, let's let's discuss there. You can hit me on social media, Twitter at Randa Andrew One Word, uh, or you can go to my blog and leave your comments, and let's take it from there. Cheers.